Welcome everyone. My name is Kate McAwee and I'm the Executive Director of the Women's Ordination Conference. It's Vocations Awareness Week and we are incredibly honored and excited to welcome you all to the first conversation between supporters of women's ordination and a member of the highest levels, at least on paper, of the hierarchy. It's my privilege to introduce Cardinal Cartone, our partner in dialogue as we discuss the pressing issue of women's ordination in the church. Your Eminence, is there anything you'd like to say before we begin? Well, <laughs> the language of God is silence, so we're incredibly grateful that you're here to listen to the faithful women of our church. Let's dialogue corrugatedly, I mean courageously. <laughs> Anne, why don't you go first? Thanks, Kate. Cardinal. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with us. I deeply love my Catholic faith and I want to serve alongside my brothers as a priest. I am certain that God is calling me to ordained ministry. And yet the institutional church claims that it is sinful and against God's will. Brother, as a man of Christ, is it impossible that God would call me to be a priest? Spoken like a true pastor. Cardinal, it's my understanding that one of the main reasons that women can't become priests is because we cannot act in the image of Christ at mass. But surely, just because I can't pee like Jesus doesn't mean I can't be like Jesus. So how can I, your eminence, better resemble Christ? Because Surely you're not saying there's something biologically deficient about me. Very profound, your eminence. Cardinal, since women can't be ordained, does that mean there are seven sacraments for men, but only six sacraments for us, and even fewer for queer women? Sorry, is he muted? Oh no, I know exactly what he said. Okay, let me try something different. Maybe he understands Spanish. Cardenal, si las mujeres son tan importantes y especiales como dice la iglesia, ¿por qué ese rol especial siempre está por fuera de la toma de decisiones? I mean, ¿por qué ser especiales nos impide votar o estar ordenadas? Well, that didn't work. Does anybody speak patriarchy here? Hi. Yeah, I thought I was here for a, a come and see virtual spaghetti dinner with the vocations office. Did I did I get on the wrong Zoom link or? Maybe the Cardinal's frozen. Frozen in the 12th century, more like it. You know what, I think I think I'm just going to stick with my noodles on this one. Cardinal Cartoni, you come prancing in like an entitled prince of the church, holding the outdated line. You dismiss the legitimate calls of women who simply want equality and respect. You and your copies treat women like malformed men. This erroneous attitude condones the oppression of women and girls all over the world. It damages their physical, mental, and emotional health. You should be ashamed. Respectfully, your argument, Cardinal Cartone, is becoming a bit cartoonish. He looks bored. But what can he even say? The arguments are terrible. We know that women like Phoebe were ordained ministers in the early church. And that Jesus didn't ordain anybody. And that acting in Persona Christi doesn't have to do with having male body parts. It has to do with acting like Christ. And that Pope John Paul II's statement in Ordinatio Sacra Dortalis that the church has no authority whatsoever to ordain women is neither infallible nor is it uncontested. I'd call it misogynistic bollocks. But perhaps his eminence would rather we didn't mention bowls. 
But his discrimination has reduced the argument to genitalia and it's indefensible. It's paper thin and shredding before our eyes. Yeah, it's, it's falling like a house of cards. I can understand you feeling boxed in, but your pastoral presence is pretty stiff, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, I'm afraid that's all the time we have. We need to break this down. Your silence speaks volumes, Your Eminence. 